Okay, bait of choice today. Cut greeny. See how that might need some more weight. Not quite far enough. Second cast. Got a cork this time. Wind's going this way. The current's going this way. Don't know if that's going to do it or not. I need to be much closer. Now, it's going to go right. There he is. He's on it. Uh, he looked at it. Try that again. Oh, I'm hooked up. We got him. A little one. <laughs> I knew he was little when I saw him. That's all right. Wait. small I'm gonna cut the line on this one just release him caught the shorty I'm gonna throw to see if there's one more in there that wasn't the best cast what happens is the tides coming this way you got to throw it up in front of them because they're faced this way but you can't be on the other side of that marker or you will get hung up. See that was on the other side of the marker and I pulled it so it drifts on this side of the marker. That's probably the only one here. Next spot. That was kind of a bad cast. Maybe there's one back there. See that time I cast on the downstream side of it. The current. Don't act like there's much current right here. There's a little corks moving a little. A better cast have been in front. Because like I say then fish rain that way. If they see it, they'll go investigate it. Sometimes they'll hit it when you reel it in. They think it's getting away. So I'll reel and hesitate. Alright, let's do a better cast this time. That's almost perfect. They should be able to see it. If they're there. That bait landed on this side about a foot. And it's going to drift this way. When there's not much current, they'll swim around that too. Go back and forth around. It don't look like there's one home here. This is blind fishing this time because I didn't drive by it to look. Okay, that's in front of it this way. Just kind of gauge where that bait's gonna drift so it doesn't drift on that side of the marker line, cable, whatever it is. I 
Nope. Okay, I explained it in the video while I was fishing on the situation and how to present the bait. Now I'm going to show it in some more detail. Uh, in the video, the current was going this way and the wind was blowing this way. The main thing you want is watch where you throw this, this bait and not get it hung up in the buoy or structure or whatever it is. So if the current's going from, a, from the left to the right, when you throw this, you don't you want it so where that bait lands right about there. So the current will go pull it this way on the other side of that buoy, on the right side of the buoy. If you throw your bait here, if you throw your bait here, and it goes, the current drags it this way, it's going to get hung up in that line on the buoy in that situation. So you can also present this bait back here where the current can pull it this way. And a lot of my casts is I will throw it out here and then when I get close I'll pull it right up to close to the marker and then stop it right there. And these fish in this situation is triple tail, they're facing that way. So that's basically how I fished it. And with a lot of current, these fish are going to be back behind the buoy. With not much current, they'd be swimming all around the buoy. So you got to present this bait so it'll be in his face. It can be up close, but not get wrapped around that buoy. That's about it.